done. Um, I didn't post on Monday, and I, that's mainly because of Nano Rimo because I was busy working on my novel. However, today is a day that I probably will not be working on my novel because I got something in the mail. Um, a while back, I remember uh, getting a couple of packages from Amazon. One of them involved uh, the disreputable history of Frankie Lando Banks. I think I remember telling you guys about that, and it was fantastic. It's a good book. I suggest reading it for all of you. And I also got um, A Son of Neptune, and which was also a fantastic book. And I figure that everyone should be able to read those books because they're, they're good books. And Elfie, if you have any misgivings about the Heroes of Olympus series in general, I'm telling you right now, put them to rest because The Son of Neptune is a fantastic book. I think so, at least. Like, Percy's back in it, and... The Roman city is really, really cool looking, and it involves Oregon. <laughs> and I think just that, just that, um, qualifies it as a good book when it involves Oregon, because no books involve Oregon. No books involve Oregon. Anyway, so I'm probably not going to write today, because, or at least for the rest of today, because I got something in the mail. I'm not sure how many of you guys know this, but I am a staunch supporter of this particular author. That one. The one that's on the screen right now? Yeah, Christopher Paulini. Big fan of his. Big, 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 big fan of his. Ow. Ow. Now, we've all... We've... I've been buying all his books, first edition, ever since I was, like, in middle school. Heck, when I was in elementary school, we got Aragon, and I was like... I read it in the library for the first time, and I was like, I have to have this book, so... That is a first edition book with a couple of errors in it, actually. It's kind of interesting. So, I like I like that book so much. It's it's one it's, it's one of my favorite series. It's one it's one of the things that got me into large book reading, like Lord of the Rings. I read Lord of the Rings before I read Aragon, but I don't without Aragon, I don't think I would have gotten to Harry Potter, Chronicles of Narnia, and Black, Red, White, and all the other books that I've read that are fairly thick. So, without 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 Aragon, you could have pretty much kissed away most of my um, literary career. Um, but what what this is leading up to, wh why I'm so excited and why I'm not going to read today is because of this. This came in the mail today. Inheritance by Christopher Paolini. First edition, I'm pretty sure at least I think it's the first edition. I'm going to look up the copyright thing right now. The Inheritance or the Vault of Souls. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Um, yeah, first edition. First edition, right there, yeah. First edition, unrevised. First edition, pre-ordered. Yeah, it's mine now. It smells like a new book, and I'm so excited to read it. Um, I'm not going to be posting for much of today because of... Oh, phone ringing. Um, because of... Book read. So I will read this book, and I will get back to you on how it is. I'm generally a pretty good re about reading fast, so... I should be done with that, like, by the end of tonight, hopefully. And I'll probably read it again for the rest of the night. <laughs> so, I'm so excited. Um, if you are all, at all interested, I will um, leave a comment and I will uh, post you guys a review of how I thought of the book when I'm done with it. And also, I'll probably end up starting up one of those book recommendation things where I recommend you guys books and you guys should read them. So, yeah, that's, that's all for today. That's all I had. I didn't plan this video at all, so that's all I really had going for me. And, yeah. That's it. Bye!